Hey folks, uh, this is going to be just a kind of a quick update on the uh, barrel bees from last year. Um, they're the only hive that I had that survived uh, over winter. Well, in Southern California, winter's not really winter. Um, it rarely gets down in the 40s. Um, but anyway, uh, of course, we're in an El Nino year, so earlier this year we had lots of rain, which we desperately needed for the, uh, the drought. And uh, anyway, bees started swarming early this year, and um, I went in and I cracked this hive open, and I would say sometime end of January, 1st of February. And they seem to be doing well and uh, haven't had any problems with them, but uh, there were no swarm cells, and uh, the queen is, she's laying a pretty good pattern. Uh, and I'll give y'all, I'll, I'll show y'all a couple frames of that whenever I get cracked into the hive. But uh, um, when I got that, uh, that hive last year and I got them established in their, in their home, uh, I went ahead and, and uh, captured the queen, took her out, uh, clipped her wings, and uh, I put a, a mark on her. So uh, she's pretty easy to spot. So anyway, I'll uh, go ahead and crack the hive open and uh, let y'all see what I've got. Um, I stacked them uh, in February with a with a uh, a deep tin frame on the bottom, and then their original hive on top. And as of about two weeks ago, they hadn't moved into the bottom box yet, but they were rapidly running out of room. So let's hope uh, they're uh, expanding like I'm hoping they're going to. I'm not going to be able to split them this year, but I'm hoping at least get some uh, get some honey off of them. So. Come on, ladies. that a second to soak in. They're bringing in lots of yellow pollen. We're just, right now, this time of year, with all the rain we've had, everything's in bloom. Give myself a little smoke. Already getting a few little bumps over here. Anyway, I'll bring y'all over and let y'all take a look down the side real quick before I start tearing into things. Anyway, they're working most of this top box there all the way out to the outer edge, so I'm hoping that uh, that they're uh, into that bottom box. I really like this hive to expand. As you can tell, these bees are a little bit flighty. They, they like to come up. Oh, they've, they've robbed all the comb off this outer. See, this was a full frame of drawn out comb and they've recycled all that comb off of there. So they're not, now we're just going to see what the queen's doing. Yeah, they started putting honey in this. Well, no, this is old honey from last year that they hadn't cleaned out yet. Yeah, he's been doing this for a long time, which I've been around bees most of my life. My dad and grandpa raised bees. The reason I'm wearing a suit, especially with these bees, is they were wild-caught bees. Uh, and yeah, for the most part, they're pretty, pretty gentle. 
but they do have some serious aggression issues. Now this frame's a little heavier. I'm expecting to see brood on the other side. And this is a plastic frame. This is a frame that I got last year when I bought my nuke. Yeah, this thing's slap full of pollen and nectar. Give y'all a look. See, I even got some bees here that have nectar or have pollen right there. You see how busy body they are? They're just running some of the guns. A lot of nectar and a lot of pollen in there, but no brood. The queen hasn't moved over here yet. Up at the top. Uh, fresh eggs and brooding here. So the queen may be on this frame. Hopefully she'll start walking to the other. Side. Hatching. And there's the queen right in the middle of the frame. Can't miss her. There she is, right there. She's a big one. Kind of a mahogany red tiger stripe. She puts out a heck of a pattern, but I wish she'd be a little bit more. Starting to pull wings in these other frames. I'm gonna go ahead and close this top box up because I know where she's at. So anybody wants to know what pissy bees look like or partial Africanized bees? This is definitely one of them. them on here than I thought. I can give you a little, little look-see. There we go. Let's, uh, let's see what we got going here. Give them a little smoke. I'll check the middle frames. They typically work from the inside out, as y'all mostly know. So. doing anything here in this frame. What I'm mostly looking for is eggs to see if the queen can down into this bottom box at all.
get y'all closed up. feedback on what y'all think. Everybody out there. Let me know. Maybe I need to pair them down to one box and maybe introduce just a few new frames of foundation and the other super or something, maybe get them to move. She just doesn't want to seem to lay the rest of these frames up. And these are just robbing the foundation. And moving to other places, Lord knows where. Fancy lid weight. Anyway, that's it. Come on. Thanks for watching. <laughs>